What up, guys? Team XX here bringing you What's Crack number 42, and today we are here with... Good up, Ari. Sweet, 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 sweet luck. And your host, Gangster Prankster. Welcome back to another What's Crackin'. Where this is our podcast where we, we just like to chill out, talk about video games and movies and stuff. So uh, if you're into that kind of stuff, just a chill atmosphere, you found the right place. Um, first, let's... Um, we recently... The other day, we had a an Awesome Knots PC giveaway on Steam. And, uh, you know, we basically told everyone, if you can answer these three questions first and correctly, uh, you will win yourself a copy of the Awesome Knots on PC. And, well, luckily, we got a winner. It, was, it started out very hectic. Like, I was reading the comments, and I'm like, oh, fuck, this person got it wrong. So close. Two out of three. It's just like... Yeah, it's yeah. pretty intense. But one person prevailed, and that person is. Oh, drum roll! Yep, drum roll. Yeah, it's the best I can do. <laughs> <laughs> bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. I little... tried to do real. That was like not even fingers. a drum. That was like trumpet. Yeah, it was yeah. Like trumpet blaring. Shit, just fucking say who it was. People are wondering, right? Um. Okay, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but <laughs> I'm gonna take it a shot in the dark here. Uh, Jacques twenty one. Um, Jacques one twenty one. Is it 121? Yes. It's okay. actually J. Jaquez or Jaquez or something. We're sorry. We didn't get to actually talk to him like we wanted to. Do we get his name straight? But he is the winner of the first ever Team X Eggs Awesome Nuts giveaway. It was a, a whole lot of fun. Uh, I, I'm hoping Gangster puts the answers to the questions in the description so you guys can figure out how close or how we'll far We'll just say away them verbally. Were. All right. So, question okay. one was uh, what was the first date of our. The date of our first Awesome Nuts upload and what team did we use? The correct answer was May 3rd, 2012. And the team we used was Froggy, Lone Star, and Voltar. So if you got yourself, got that, round of applause for you. Um, the second one was in the Team X Egg series where we challenged subscribers to a match. What was the overall win-loss record of all the matches? Some people were confused and they thought just the series, but we wanted all... All the matches together. Yeah, and the that's answer, probably the most missed one. And the answer for that was five to four. We won five that's... matches and we lost four of them. And uh, the last question was, what is our least favorite awesome not to and run into on an online match? Yeah. Oh. And if you pay attention to a certain video that we uploaded, um, <laughs> where we pretty much said the answer. That's why we tried to emphasize. Emphasize, 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 awesome <laughs> not, and, and it was in the description not. too. It was even spelled the exact same way as we did in the video. And uh, we got Voltar. We don't like Voltar, but he wasn't the one. Uh, yeah, the answer we, we were looking for was Leon with his cheesy yeah. clone, cheesy ass clones. Yes. So uh, he was the first thank person you. to answer correctly, and yeah. But thank you to everyone who left comments and tried to uh, to claim it. And the it, outpouring was way more than I thought it was going to be. So yeah, it's crazy. And uh, I'm glad he won because I've no, I know he watches our videos consistently. You know, he always leaves a comment and stuff. So it's good to know that it went to someone who uh, who supports us. So we're glad he can enjoy P or awesome nuts on PC, and uh, we'll definitely be playing with him sometime. So I'm glad. I uh, hope you enjoy the game, and can't wait to play with you. So right, real quick, real quick, hold on. What? Is this our only giveaway, or maybe something in the future? Uh, as of right now, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything. But I know I don't want to say we're doing this like every week or nothing. But you know, it was fun. Yeah, I'd like to do this again sometime. So yeah, maybe Ronimo can hook us up with a couple copies, and we can hand them out. I don't know. I don't. Know. <laughs> yeah, they do watch our videos, dude. Totally unsolicited. They they. Posted one of our videos on a tweet. Totally blew us away. Oh, Great. yeah, that blew my hair back. <laughs> yeah, totally surprised and caught us off guard, but, you know. Great. Yeah. They need to do that with every one of our videos. <laughs> yeah. No. No, no, Let's no. support all these other games that we didn't make. Yeah. That's great. Great <laughs> all of our Awesome Knots videos. Oh, all of our Awesome Knots videos. But What's awesome, the second one? So? Awesome Knots is not the only game we like by them. We also like Swords and Soldiers, which I believe was their first game. I don't mean Kuda played it a, a bit. Yes, that was a pretty fun game. That was a pretty yeah. fun game. Yeah. So, like, um, like, <laughs> again, thank you to everyone posting comments and stuff. And, uh, yeah, definitely we'll be giving 
we'll try and do more giveaways, uh, whether it be for Awesome Knots or something else. So uh, just keep an eye out for that. Uh, so let's move on. First thing I want to talk about was an article that I found that is actually pretty interesting. Uh, so a couple of weeks ago we talked about, you know, the negative effects of video games and, you know, playing video games before bed can, you know, have caused trouble with your sleeping. Well, I stumbled upon an awesome article of 10 reasons why video games are healthy. Oh my God. Oh my God. Are we going <laughs> to start from the bottom? Are we going to start from the bottom? Yeah, we'll start from the bottom and work our way Take up. Take a guess of why do you think it is, Kuda. I say reaction time uh, and thinking is going to be two of them. Uh, video games for me, I probably wouldn't have learned how to read if it weren't for video games. Just flat out. Because back in the day, Super Nintendo, regular Nintendo, they didn't have voiced over shit. Everything was text-based. And I learned to read like a pro playing Final Fantasy II for Super NES and just all kinds of games. Like a pro. Right, so yeah, there's that's... some cool shit, some shit I didn't know. I learned a little bit, you know, doing this or reading this article and just typing it out. So let's go through real quick. Number 10, uh, improved dexterity. A uh, study of hospital <laughs> surgeons showed that those who played video games were 27% faster and 37% less prone to errors than those who didn't. Okay, when you say dexterity and I'm thinking hands, I think something totally different. <laughs> and it's true, 100%. Jerking off? No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm pretty about. good at that. <laughs> I never had any complaints. I don't think he's because of video games, but... Uh... <laughs> oh, God. I mean, anyway. Great, yeah. I totally I'll send me a shake weight. <laughs> shake? I love a shake weight. Shake weight. If you want to send me a shake weight, I'd love a shake weight. Yeah, we'll do a video with a shake weight. <laughs> hey, guys. We're playing Awesome Nuts on PC, and we're working it with the shake weight, all right? <laughs> yeah. You only need... So, you know, got the mouse in one hand, shake away in the other. I use a controller, yo. I got this. <laughs> Ugh life. Um, <laughs> next, education. The Federation of American Scientists revealed that the students that students remember up to 90% of info when taught using simulation compared with 10% via reading. Wow. That's a huge freaking difference. Yeah. Uh, next, number eight. Fun, you're going to remember it if it's boring. Yeah. So. Uh, next, number eight, physiotherapy. Exercise-based games help Parkinson's disease sufferers. In a study, after 12 weeks of playing, over 55% of people that had improved balance, gait speed, and longer strides. So, that's uh, cool. Uh, how sitting on your butt help you do that? <laughs> exercise games for uh, like Dance Dance Revolution. Oh, man. Exactly. I it's probably all the Wii stuff. Jamming out on the yeah, own. I was thinking Wii. Yeah. Uh, so, Number seven, this can be, I don't know about this, because there's certain games that make you feel this way. Uh, so number seven is stress relief. Gaming lo lowers levels of stress-inducing hormone. Of course, yeah, right. I don't know that word, up to 17%. Puzzle game, <laughs> puzzle game Bejeweled has been shown to reduce physical stress activity by 54%. But Jeweled freaks me the fuck out, all right? I'm like, okay. It's tense. It's doesn't really stress. Call of Duty, Jesus Christ, you get stressed out playing that game. <laughs> but I get it, dude. There's some games that when I'm like, just, I'm feeling it, especially when I was in college. Holy hell. I bet you guys remember Noby Noby Boy. I would just hop on that game. There was no points to the game, no objective, no thing that you had to do within the time limit. You just fucking chill. It was fun as shit. And it was, totally took my mind off exams. And just all kinds of other shit I do. Little totally Big work. Planet used to be my gateway. Like, just, I can go and chill and just have fun. And... Nah, I play Little Big Planet MLG style, so that's uh, a that very stressful game I for me. I ain't that life. <laughs> Some of the levels were stressful. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Only playing with you guys, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> other than that, it's fun. We make it stressful. How about that? What other games, what other games do you play for just to, like, chill out? Katamari Damacy? Oh my god. Best chill out game in the whole entire world. You don't even have to do drugs, and it's just like it's like smoking up a butt and just chilling, rolling up shit, picking up with a ball, making stars. <laughs> I don't remember the game I was thinking of, but I used to have a game where I just you have a bad day, play this, it'll make you feel better, and forget about your problem. Grand Theft Auto is for me. Freaking cheat codes out the butthole, man. They won't even bother me. Alright, yeah, I won't bother you with stuff up the butthole, dude. <laughs> yeah, I heard butthole, and I just... I'll just stall what you have, Alan. 
<laughs> uh, number six, multitasking. Gamers can concentrate on six things at once, where non-gamers can only concentrate on four. Uh, they also perform up to 20% more effectively in perception and cognitive tests. Hmm. I wouldn't doubt that because I've played games. Multitasking, so. Listen to music, text people. I do <laughs> everything. Yeah, I don't. I can't co-sign on that one. I'm more on the four. Like I know I could play Call of Duty and you know pay attention to ammo, mini map, you know where everybody's <laughs> on the map. I guess you can count that as like six things. But if you're <laughs> asking me to you know cook lunch, watch the dishes, watch the kid, wash the dishes, yeah. do some laundry at the same time, I'm gonna end up with burnt ass food, a kid who's probably dead, and some laundry that's just not wrinkle free. <laughs> so uh, that's that's my guess. I could do that. Another one I can't really co-sign on is number five, improved eyesight. Playing action video games for a few hours each day can lead to 20% increase in accuracy during eye chart tests. Uh, That's great, but video games is also the reason why I have bad eyesight. (laughs) Well, yeah, because they said you play for a couple hours at a time. You probably play five, six hours at a time. (laughs) Yeah, it's going to make your eyes go fucking hurt. 24 hours a day. If you play in the dark, okay? And you're really close, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I play in the dark. Yeah, Yeah, it's not good for your eyes at all, dude. You have to turn those lights on. You play in the dark? I I have a lamp right next to me. I can't stand playing in the dark anymore. It hurts my eyes. Yeah, I'm, dude, remember when I got my HDTV and I was playing Modern Warfare 2 and I was having, like, eye seizures and shit because the colors were just too fucking real? That can't be good for your eyes, dude. I never had eye pains. and then <laughs> I was getting headaches and shit. Oh, it was bad. I thought I had eye cancer. I found myself more alert after playing Call of Duty. <laughs> like, when I go outside, I was like, what was that? <laughs> oh, yeah. What's that noise? There's somebody behind me. <laughs> hey, look. Drop shot. Turn around. <laughs> nope. Calling the UAV. Uh, number four, relationships. Seventy-six percent of couples who game together say it has a positive impact on their marriage. Okay, who? What kind of girl games? I mean, there can't be a lot of them. Uh, I mean. they're out there, and couples? about eighty percent of them are fucking crazy. So let's put it. That <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, they're either playing together or when they play, they leave each other completely alone. Let's just put it this way: a hundred percent of my girlfriends that like to play video games were crazy. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, Yeah, that's fucking just uh, too much. It's fun until, you know, crazy. What are you doing? (laughs) Who was that girl you were talking to? It seems like a cool thing to have in common, but at the end of the day, it's like, get off, I want to play, you know? (laughs) Oh, yeah. Yeah, Unless you have two different systems. It causes problems down the line. (sighs) God, I hate it. I'd want a gaming girl. That'd be cool. Hell no. She loved Black Ops. I didn't love Black Ops, so... (laughs) We gotta find a game of common interest. Oh, well, I heard Minecraft's the place where to find relationships. I had a couple friends where they were like constantly playing World of Warcraft, naked on their beds. What? <laughs> That's not okay, what I was, I was expecting. Oh, uh, well, I would not. Be playing uh, with Warcraft I'm equals that. naked in a bed with somebody you love. That's pretty good from my. I thought you so. said they were they have, met online. Fit, <laughs> no, 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 no. These people were like engaged for a long time i don't know if they're married now or not but when i first met them and we were like at a house party and they were, were you in bed with me. them no oh. they were telling us these stories and i'm like that sounds really nice why can't i have that <laughs> yeah, i don't i wouldn't be playing a video game at that point <laughs> <laughs> well they didn't just play video games but it was like you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> 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 okay, number three, whatever number we're on. Yeah, you actually got it right. Uh, number three, pain relief. Uh, patients' pain ratings for burn wounds decreased by 50% while gaming. Uh, one study burn? showed. Yeah, burn wounds. Okay, keep going. Oh, yeah, it's uh, that. One study <laughs> showed that violent video games increased pain tolerance up to 65%. How does that work? Shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, they prick you with something, they say on a scale of. One to ten, how much does it hurt? And then they prick you again while you're playing. And you're just like, stop it! I'm playing this again. <laughs> then you murder them. <laughs> That's horseshit, though, dude. I had spice burns on my hands when I went to go eat four horseman burger, Chuckies, made with ghost chilies and habanero hot sauce. Yeah, have you ever told that story? I don't know if I told it on What's Cracking, but I've told it like a hundred times. Anyway. Like you're going to tell it next week on What's Cracking. Uh, maybe. Maybe <laughs> we can get hopped in on that. He was there. He didn't last. Anyway, spice burns on my hands, okay? 
and I'm trying to play video games the next day. And the damn thing rumbles and just burns the fuck out of my hands. I couldn't play games for a solid three days. The vibration on? Yeah, the vibration was on. I can't stand vibration on. I love the vibration on. And I know you like vibration, but I don't. Burnt the fuck out of my hands. Like it was like somebody constantly slapping a sunburn. It was just terrible beyond belief. And so. Have yeah. you ever had your skin boil? No. I have. It sucks. I got a really bad sunburn, and I got, like, water blisters. It's not really boring. Yeah, it though. burnt my face in the summer. <laughs> it was just the worst thing ever. I had my shoulders, and it sucks so bad. Fucking I had my whole back. I was, oh, my God. I was screaming on a couch at my aunt's house. God, oh, my God, somebody make it stop. Yeah, I, I was on sleep. A cruise. Oh. <laughs> it was really I put bad. ice on that stuff, man. That was, like, oh, the only thing I could man. do. It felt I pretty good. It was. I thought I was, like. Mutating Dead. some like creature or some shit because I'm just bumping. I thought I had that. skin cancer going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah. So, all right, that's a hard knock life right there. Uh, uh, number two, increased eight or I was gonna say HQ IQ players <laughs> have been noted to be up to fifty percent better at managing events and spotting details. Infants who play games also develop a thicker cortex. Nice. I've told this to many parents. They don't believe me. <laughs> so, yeah, <sighs> makes you smarter. Awesome. It does. Mm-hmm. That's me, dude. I grew up playing video games, and I'm a fucking genius. So, and number one, faster response time. The ability to yeah. shoot a zombie quickly translates to the real world. Reaction times of gamers are shown to be nearly as high as fighter jet pilots. Holy shit. That's basically because the fire jet pilots go through simulations and video game is a simulation. So, yeah, it's every day for hours simulations. They're going to be really quick on things. Yeah, I knew video games made me better at fencing, dude, because that's all about reaction times. I was just a fucking beast. Practically <laughs> so, superhumans. Yeah, that's. I scared some people how fast I was. And so, yeah, it's cool. Doesn't surprise me at all. And for all you loser non-gamers, why are you even listening to this? I know, I like, you why are. are you watching a gaming podcast, Jesus? <laughs> uh, They're like, I'm going to pick up gaming now. I'm gonna be for all the super humans that are fast. watching, thank you. Yeah, rock on. <laughs> Your game on, <laughs> my save bet. the world during the zombie apocalypse one day. So that's all, all that'll be left. Oh, oh. Zombie apocalypse, like, nowadays would, like, do nothing because all these gamers. <laughs> yeah. Be like, my time to shine. All these garbage <laughs> movies where the people see the zombies and they're like, what's wrong with that guy? What's wrong with him? You put a fucking knife in his head. That's what's wrong with him. You don't even fucking guess it, all right? You just stab, all right? I, I don't, fucking, yeah. I don't yeah. understand. There would no be no outbreak if everybody was a gamer. You'd just be, oh, he's a zombie. No problem. No big. It's done. Yep, That's true. done. The world will be a more awesome. You know, scoop. <laughs> the world's <laughs> a, yep. Speaking of zombies, let's jump right into our gaming topics. Uh, Telltale has announced that The Walking Dead, the game's final episode, will be released today. Uh, Titled No Time Left, this episode will hit PSN uh, November 20th, followed by Xbox Live the next day. Suckers at Xbox. The epic conclusion to this great game. Oh, it's an epic tale. Epic, epic tale. Epic tell tale. Yeah, I highly suggest this to anybody. You, not even if you don't like Walking Dead, just like you're you're a fan of zombies in general. It's pretty fucking good. So, mm-hmm. and the compilation should be coming out soon. So, yeah, I can't wait to actually go back and play through it all in one go instead of months in a, at a time in between. So. Yes, I, think of it. The first one came out in May, I think. Yeah, it, it was oh, long ass time. Then they drugged their feet a little bit, huh? They waited like two or three months to get the, the second, second one. one. Fucked up, right? Yeah, it was the second episode. They took forever and a day to get it out because of like licensing or some shit. I don't know. They didn't tell us a damn thing. So. It ended up being worth it because that one was really good and it only yeah. got better. They've all been worth the wait. So yeah, so we'll have a review for that next week, and uh, I'm hyped. I'm fucking hyped. Yeah. Like it today sucks. is just crazy, and I'm about to go through everything that's gonna happen. Yeah, that's what I was like about to say. It sucks though, cause yeah, there's so many other things. Right. Also coming out today is uh, New Borderlands 2 DLC. So th- for those of you who enjoyed awesome. the, the main story and Captain Scarlet's booty, uh, be excited to hear about the new expansion. So it's going to be called Mr. Torg's Campaign of Carnage. 
Uh, it offers new areas for players to explore, three new achievements, a new currency, and plenty of new missions for players level 15 or higher with enemies scaled to your level. The basic story of Campaign of Carnage revolves around a new vault discovered in Pandora, buried in the center of a large crater that will only open once the champion of Pandora feeds it the blood of the ultimate cra coward. Um, your introduction to Mr. Torg's Campaign of Carnage comes via Mr. Torg himself, screaming at you like a t terrifying mix of Hulk Hogan and Macho Man Randy Savage <laughs> with a deep love of explosions. Oh, man. Um, as Mr. Torg describes the new vault, we at the Torg Corporation sincerely believe this is fucking awesome. So awesome <laughs> that it's going to be set up as a tournament to find the number one badass. That tournament takes place in an arena that will serve as the centerpiece fucking knew it. of the ex expansion built around the badass crater of Badassitude, where the vault <laughs> is buried. You'll need a sponsor to participate, and one of the first new characters you'll meet is Piston. A uh, scarily large brawler with engine pistons for hands. I fucking knew it was going to be arenas. God. Just like the the first game. The second. Yeah. yeah. I fucking knew it. I mean, the arenas were nice and all. And it added a bank, but... Yeah. Did Whatever. they just keep these DLCs secret to like, the day they come out? No. It's, uh, th the first one came out like no one knew out about it. Out of nowhere, it. yeah. This was... one kind of had like some build-up at like, a week's notice. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah. A lot, though. I'm excited about it. It should be fun. A distraction from the uh, normal hustle and bustle of Pandora. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I can't wait to get in there with you guys. And, and we're still not even done the game or the first DLC. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to speed that up. The, the hard game, life, the game should be almost done. That should be done uh, fairly soon. So look forward to that. But Captain Scarlet, I don't even know how far we're into that, so I can't even. Say. Yeah, I don't know either. And then we'll have this. And uh, Campaign of Carnage will also feature some familiar faces, including Tannis, Moxie, and even one of my favorites, Tiny Tina. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, she's cool. She's the best character in probably any Borderlands game, period. Behind Claptrap. No, I think she takes Claptrap. You're right? fucking crazy. Claptrap is funny. Tiny Tina, fucking bananas. I don't see how you can say Claptrap is better than Tiny Tina. Hey, did she do a dubstep Claptrap? trailer? No. She didn't need a dubstep trailer, and if she had, you would have fucking given Gearbox all your money and not had any left to buy Borderlands 2, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no. um, the DLC will cost you 10 bucks, but if you already bought the season pass, uh, it will cost you nothing yeah. because you already prepaid everything. So. Look forward to the content from that. Also on that same day, PlayStation All-Star Battle Royale. Battle! Yeah. Me and Kuda, I don't know hey. if anyone else is getting it, but uh, so far it's just us two. So that you'll you'll have some stuff to look to look forward to. Oh, um, yeah. Kuda, are you pumped? I cannot fucking wait for this game. Okay, do you know how long it's been that I've been trying to get anybody in Team X Eggs to take a liking to a fighting game? Okay. I like yeah. Marvel vs. Capcom three, and we play. You it. are garbage at it though, and now we're playing. <laughs> I'll just flat out say it. You awesome. suck at that game, fuck. Right? I won't get this game then. Fuck. No, no, but this game, there's some hope for you. There's some hope for you yet. All right. And I cannot wait. Oh my god, I cannot wait. All right, this is just exciting as shit. Like, oh my god. It's so been he's long excited. hours. You know, pwning to noobs. Making them wish they never bought the fucking game. Oh, my God. We'll be having tons of videos, you know, spotlights on each character, teams that mesh well together. So look forward to that. Yes. But uh, last week we talked about how Sony has announced that they're going to release some DLC characters. Well, they've officially announced uh, two DLC, two of those DLC characters. Uh, first, of the two of them are Cat from Gravity Rush and Emmett from Starhawk. Uh, these characters will be available next year and will actually be free DLC for the first two weeks at least. So once they come out, go and uh, download those. We'll probably talk about it again uh, when we get closer to that date. But uh, what do you think about the two new characters? There was no gameplay shown, but uh, what do you uh, think? Cat from Gravity Rush going to be bananas because, one, I get to play that game tomorrow as well, right? Because they're giving it to us for free for PlayStation Plus. Fuck, buddy, that shit. I know. And she's going to be just <laughs> fucking awesome. And another character that uses guns and stuff, sort of like Nathan Drake and Radic. It could be pretty bananas, dude. This game, 
has it all. It has characters from all types of archetypes from like fighting games and it's just this is a legit ass fighting game it's not super smash brothers this is a legit fighting game i think they're already doing stuff for like mlg and evo and they already got like wednesday night fights and friday night fights set up for it i cannot wait for this mean gangs can go pro it's maybe they're not the left man i can't wait to show the parappa kratos combo we were working on in the beta can't see what else we could do oh, so excited so fucking excited the only thing that could ruin it for me is if they just like switch everything from the beta and ruin all the combos i learned just oh i would lose it i'd go fucking bananas i don't know if we talked about this ever but th- all the characters are supposed to be released like automatically available what are your thoughts yes on day one you will have access to every character you will not have to play story mode to unlock them like in some fighting games which i'm super happy about too so you like that yeah, yeah, I love it because I mean, yeah, when you're when you're forced to play as other characters to unlock the ones you really want, then it kind of gives you a chance to try out all the characters. But that's something I'm going to do anyway. And I hate being forced into something. I want to be able to pick a character, master them, which I already think I have. Prappa, I'm pretty much I got everything down with Prappa. My game plan is solid. It's going to probably be my first character spotlight with combos, tactics, strategies, level ones, twos, and three supers. I can't wait to get that shit out there and. I like having options. I want to be able to choose people. Like when you and me are just dicking around and you're know, playing, hopefully somebody else in the team gets it. You know, my brother will probably be playing uh, alongside me too with the split screen because it's all on one screen. I'll be playing around as all kinds of characters, but you know, when it gets competitive, I want that guy, my go-to guy, right? So I don't even know what I was talking about anymore, but it's a fucking great game. I can't wait for it. That's good. Uh, also coming out today, Oh, a lo- God, on top it. of Walking Dead, on top of Borderlands 2 DLC, on top of PlayStation All-Star Battle Royale, for all you PS3 users, PS Plus members to be more specific, uh, a while back at the Tokyo Game Show, Sony confirmed that PlayStation Plus would be coming to the PlayStation Vita, and now we know it's coming this today. Uh, they're going to be bringing an extremely sl- strong launch lineup, which... Uh, you will be able to download Uncharted, Golden Abyss, Wipeout 2048, Gravity Rush, Tales from Space Mutant Blob Attacks, Jet Set Radio, and PSP title Final Fantasy Tactics, The War of the Lions. Uh, you will also get 1 gigabyte of Vita cloud storage in addition to the 1 gig PS3 cloud storage. Uh, Sony also says that from now on, 12 PS3 games and 6 Vita games will be available from PS for PS Plus subscribers to download at any time. So that's cool as shit. Um, also, for regular PS Plus subscribers, don't feel left out. There is something there for you, too. You will be able to get uh, Dungeon Defenders and Sonic 1 and 2 for free today as well. Yes! So. Wait, is it Sonic the new 1 and No, it's two? the one. They, this is a re-release, which kind of sucks, but... Damn it! Oh, I was excited for a second, but... Meh, I get a bunch of free Vita games. But you know what sucks? This is a double-edged sword, okay? Vita users are probably going to all have to go out and buy new memory cards because I know I don't have enough space on mine for, like, <laughs> probably even one of those games. So, Sony, you got me again. And so now I'm, 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 yeah. I think tomorrow I'm buying another memory card from GameStop <laughs> to pick up my PlayStation All-Star. <laughs> buy, like, five or six. Jeez. Dude, they're expensive. A 32-gig memory card is, like, 100 bucks. 16 gigabyte is like 60 bucks. And then they got like, I think, 8 and 4 and... Get a terabyte, dang. The biggest one they sell right now is 32 MB, or 32 gigs, so... I don't know. It just sucks. I really hope PlayStation All-Star Battle Royale, when it comes out, that it comes not with a digital copy, but with a actual... Physical. Physical one, because I don't have the memory card space for it. I'd love to play the game on the go. I've got jury duty coming up next week on Monday. I need something else <laughs> on my Vita that I can you know, take with me. Maybe play. show it till Black Friday. Oh, man, I don't know. There was a thing online. You could get like a 32 gig one from some other random website for like 77 bucks, which is pretty good. I might consider getting that. The shipping's not all crazy, but I don't know. It's yeah, just... I'd say wait for like Friday and the weekend and Monday. Uh, if I wait till Friday, though, I can't find one for Monday. I am boned when it comes to jury duty. So, you want to talk on that, about Persona that a little bit? Golden coming out. Uh, you want to talk? Isn't that today as well? I think so. I think Persona Four Golden 
solid gold, whatever, shiny, whatever special edition comes out the day as well. I am like, Bro. my GameStop didn't call to confirm, which leaves me a little bit worried because it's like they only made 10,000 of these things and I better get mine and just, wow. Ah, you don't need it. I already paid for it. <laughs> you want to talk about jury duty a little bit? What's there to talk about? So that it sucks for you. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. So that's about all there is, really. You're gonna be using up their internet. Yeah, I'm gonna upload uh, so many videos, dude. Yep, it comes out tomorrow. Enjoy. <laughs> this is crazy. All these games. I'm, Some more yeah, memory there's cards. too much stuff coming out tomorrow. I'm gonna have enough stuff coming out tomorrow to last me for like the next two weeks, probably. So this is fucking ridiculous. Tons of. Uh, stuff we can talk about next week so make sure you come back Walking Dead Borderlands 2 DLC fucking PlayStation All Star so much stuff our channel is going to be you know filled with so much new content so I hope you guys are excited all the way through next year we're going to have shit 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 it's exciting that's possible (laughs) Uh, next Call of Duty the video game juggernauts recently released their new game Black Ops 2 if you didn't know uh, and of course, it sets new records. Activision has announced that Black Ops 2 earned more than $500 million worldwide during its first 24 hours on sale. To put that in perspective, last year Modern Warfare 3 earned $400 million in the US and UK on launch day, and Halo 4 earned $220 million from its launch so yeah and to put it in even more perspective black ops one in total selling everything only was worth a billion dollars and so it's already sold half of that within the first 24 hours <laughs> now sweet look crazy. you actually bought the game even though you fucking lied yes. and said you weren't going to i um, a lawyer to buy. and a drug addict <laughs> so if you can truthfully tell us how you feel uh feel free to <laughs> okay the zombies a lot harder at least the one map i played where it's called transit i believe and you go from town to town on a bus and it's just super hard there's two difficulties i believe the original which is what i played on and easy mode which super easy um storyline i played the first mission it's pretty brutal i don't know if it's like that one mission that's really brutal because there was it showed a girl like burning inside of a building kind of gruesome Online, uh, grenades do a lot more damage. I've only had one glitch. The helicopter was underneath the map, and the rotor blades kept killing me for some reason. And when I would respawn across the map, it flew across and killed somebody somehow, which was pretty awesome. And uh, you die a lot quicker. Like, it takes maybe five bullets to die, maybe. And it's really quick. And that's pretty much it. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Compared to Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, how's it hold um, up to those games? It's pretty good. I mean, I'm not, I'm still not used to the dying really quickly. That It's just so weird. And corners, not so great, just like all the other ones. Spawns, pretty bad on some of the game modes. Like, today I was playing, I respawned and an enemy bumped into me and pushed me sideways. Nice. And, yeah. So if people are a Call of Duty fan, should they pick this one up? Um, this one, yes. If you are a main killer and like killstreaks, because they redid the killstreak system and they redid the class system, I think it's 13 points you get to use. You can put as many, you can put it up to three perks on your weapon and two on your secondary. And if you don't want a second perk, you don't have to have it, and you can use that for another perk somewhere else. Cool. Cool. Yeah. What? I'm what, not you, so good. what Coda? Coda, speak. Coda. Coda. I am not sold. I'm tired of the same old, same old. So. It's yeah. much faster pace. Yeah, but we say that every year. I mean, we've gone through how many Call of Duties together? Okay, going from Modern Warfare One to Modern Warfare Two. What's the first thing we said? You die a lot quicker. And then Modern Warfare Three. What are we first thing we said? You die even quicker. It was just like every time. It's they're constantly quicker. making it quicker. I don't think it's actually you dying quicker. It's just probably you haven't, it's, it's. I think it's a subconscious thing. I don't know. But I know the PS3 version is just super fucking. The servers are shits. Um, I haven't had that bad of an issue. I mean, sometimes they'll be like, up oh, connection, up, oh, nope, you're good. Up oh, connection, up, oh, nope, you're good. Up oh, connection, up, oh, nope, you're good. Does that happen a lot? 
Uh, I've happened it to me like three times maybe, and I've probably played hundreds of games, so not that often. Hmm. Still be flawless, like the online. Like that's one thing you can always rely on. A Call of Duty, like yeah. the online's always working. So it is working. You not from it. what I've heard. Or they're uh, just a the very bit. loud mi- uh, minority. I guess. Mm, probably, yeah. I don't know. To me, like, I was absolutely hell bent on not getting this game. Just like, fuck no, I don't want to do anything with Call of Duty. If it goes on sale, if I get it at a, a Black Friday sale, then yes, I will pick it up. But, uh, like, Are you getting it? if it's if I can find a good deal for it, yes. But uh, what's the most you will pay for it? To be honest, I, thirty-five. Yeah, I don't think you're, yeah, you're not gonna find it. <laughs> <laughs> I I maybe think maybe you can find it fifty. Fifty. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, that's how much you could get it if I were like find a used copy of GameStop and get my discount. But I don't I don't think you find it thirty five, dude. Especially not a couple weeks after release. That's, that's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. it's like <laughs> but, half price, dude. <laughs> overall, like I've seen some gameplay and. I've actually it actually looks good. Like I can't really say that about a Treyarch game. I I was excited about World at War just for the fact of the zombies. And then with Black Ops, I always knew it was gonna be a piece of shit. <laughs> and I was right. Even though I I like it now, but at first I fucking hated it. The zombies is cool because you get to use futuristic weapons and you get to make things like. You get to make this thing. It, I don't know what it does, but the zombies attack, and it's basically a mute shield. You can make a riot shield, nail people, and they go flying. Yeah, I haven't watched too much zombies because, like, if I get the game, I want that to. I want to go in as fresh as possible, so I haven't watched too much of that. But the multiplayer looks decent. The maps look really good. Uh, I know the new game mode, hard or hard point. Yeah, um, that yeah, looks pretty like, fun. Uh, I'm I haven't really, even played all the maps. There's so many. It's, like, ridiculous. I really like the league play feature where, like, if you want to play competitively, you can play that. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, I like to think I'm pretty on. good. I'm hot shit at Call of Duty, so, like, I want to play good players, and I that rarely happens. So now that we have, like, a little league to, where you actually can play good players and have a competitive yeah, you, match. You can use any class, any weapon, anything. Uh, you take five placement matches, and then it puts you in a league that it thinks you should be in, and then you just play people of your same level. Yeah, that seems cool. But uh, as of right now, fuck no. no. I'm not getting it. Yeah, it's passed for me. But would you play it if your brother got it? I'm not going to just not play a game. So. <laughs> you did it so with like Resident Evil 6? If somebody put a stake in front of you. I've played Resident Evil 6. How long did it take you? Yeah, about a month, but that was mainly because I had other stuff to do, you know, a little bit of <laughs> party. You know. <laughs> I'm very busy, gangster. God. Oh, you're so not busy. Um. So yeah, that's what we gotta say about Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Next, Ubisoft CEO. I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Yevs Gilmont. Uh, hopefully that's right. Says Rainbow Six Patriots. Could be a next generation console game. In an interview with Polygon, Gilmont commented that there's a good chance it can be. When asked about the game being pushed to next gen, also commenting uh, that we have a good team working on it and it it's really looking good. So when it will come out, it will surprise the industry. Does this surprise you that they're already planning for next gen? No. Do you think Resident Evil 6 Patriots could be that? Resident Evil 6? No. Rainbow Six Patriots. Okay, you said Resident Evil 6. Um, (laughs) meh. (laughs) Well, you don't care about the series, or? I don't, yeah. Rainbow Six never been my cup of tea, so. Because I know this was announced at the Spike Video Game Awards in, like, 2011, and then dropped off the face of the planet, but, uh. Yeah... I don't know. It doesn't surprise me they're already planning for next gen because that's just like bound to happen. But speaking of new gen, the Wii U just came out. Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna pick one up? Uh, the only game I'm interested in Wii U is Monster Hunter Three, like Ultimate Edition, whatever. That's not coming out till at least like March, so uh, it's past for me. Until 
I'll wait till their first bundle. Nintendo loves price dropping, so I will just wait for that. How much is the console right now? Is it three hundred? Mm, I don't know. Let's use my little. Uh... Have you seen the new controllers, the tablet things? I think those look so fucking uh, stupid. Yeah, it looks like a tablet. It looks like an oversized touchscreen, like Game Boy Advance type thing. Like, I don't know. It's... Crazy. Yeah, not a. Not a big fan of the way it looks. All right, tell us the price. Oh, I can't find it. <laughs> Useless. So it's fucking expensive. That's all. <laughs> I think it's three hundred. Let's find out. We yeah. <laughs> oh just my god! I just, I just find games for it, dude. They're not. They Are don't have a console online. Are you <laughs> fucking kidding me, dude? I don't want to get some like bullshit Amazon price. I want to get the like, like GameStop.com. That's what I'm on, bro. When I'm on. Yeah, oh my stop. god. I'll have to do this, obviously. Yes. Oh, wait, game systems. Oh, super black. $300! Woo! Yeah. For the basic set. And that's for an 8 gigabyte basic set. With the 32 gig deluxe set, 350 And I think it's come, it comes in like black instead of white. Does it so. come with a game at least? I think it might. The last, like, bunch of nintendo systems have always come with a game like wii sports or something let's see i don't i don't know it might come up with like uh the tech demo i think it's like nintendo land or something i'm not sure if that's a standalone game <clears throat> but uh it definitely has something to try and uh teach you the controls and stuff i know that much because i think all these are sold out shit yeah, bro. So I told you I couldn't find one. It's gonna be the next hot thing, like for Christmas and kids and. Oh uh, yeah, true, true, true. Oh my god, it's gonna go fucking bananas. You know, Nintendo, just long ass following. They're they're never gonna not sell. Shit. <laughs> mm. Uh, yeah. Moving on. Uh, after fans were told not to expect a new game in the Mega Man series to coincide. Uh, with the franchise's 25th anniversary this year, many worried that it signaled Capcom had no plans to expand upon the series any further. Thankfully, in a new interview, the company has revealed that isn't the case. Speaking with Nintendo Power via Siliconora, Iria, I don't know, some fucking company, uh, Capcom USA Senior Vice President Christian Sevenson explained that we'd be seeing a lot more of the Blue Bomber in the future on both handhelds and consoles. It's good. It's Did all the blood good. just blood just rush to your groin? I almost fucking passed out. Yeah, was <laughs> I was gonna say it, was like, but uh, it's quiet. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking great. I grew up with Mega Man. He's always been a uh, big part of my life, and I'd love to see more of him. So, when's the last Mega Man game that came out? Last Mega Man game that came out, like legit Mega Man. I think it was like Mega Man X. Like, Does Mega Man 10 count? Uh, yeah, and then they have those newer ones, the the 8-bit classics that they expanded on. I guess those would probably be the newest ones, which isn't saying much. That, and they have uh, handheld versions for like uh, it's like Mega Man Battle Networks, and there's like a couple other versions. Yeah, I don't count not those. Not really interested in, yeah. But it's been a while since we've seen like a legit Mega Man game. I think it's just like... People aren't going to buy, like, a Mega Man game for what it is anymore. Because people expect so much more. So, yeah. I'm not side-scrolling. Just the, the shortness of the game. Like, every Mega Man game's pretty much been, like, eight bosses and then a final boss level. And that's, like, maybe two, three hours gameplay. No one's going to pay full retail price for something like that. So they got to find a way to reinvent the series. I really, really want to see Mega Man Legends 3, but as far as I know, that's completely dead in the water. That would be, like, a legit way to bring back Mega Man in all his glory, I think. But they just completely just said they're not doing that, so... But how does Nintendo do with Mario? Because pretty much the same shit every fucking game, I right? don't know, dude. M Nintendo with Mario? Mario's just, like, iconic, classic. Kids are gonna want it. Like, regardless. <laughs> I'm surprised... Like, uh, kids are still super interested in Mario, which I like, because, you know, I grew up with them, too, but it's just, it's it's crazy. You grew up it's with all crazy. these men in your life? Yeah, dude. Mega uh, Man, well, are you Mega sad Man to see them go? Boy, you know, <laughs> Mario, eh, 
whatever. <laughs> but yeah, it's just crazy. You know, it'll be around forever, and they can do no wrong basically with Mario. That's why Mario does everything: he, soccer, karting, doctor, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything. Yeah, it's pretty fucking. Cool. Go see the Olympics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Sonic with Sonic too. <laughs> yes. He he had to drag Sonic there. Yeah. He which... brought Sonic up to his level. That was a terrible game. Is but... Sonic is big. No, nah, Sonic is definitely not as big as fucking. Oh man, I don't know. I, I would say he at one time he kind of could have been like the next Mario, but he's definitely he's waned over the past few years. Dude. There's just has not been a decent Sonic game. And... Do you think it's because there hasn't been a Sega console to kind of back it up? Uh no. <laughs> Sega, they have enough of like manpower to. Just focus on games, which is what they wanted to do, and they just they haven't been doing it. So, nice. that's that's all on them. I don't know. And last but not least, Spike TV revealed their list of nominees for this year's Video Game Award Show. A lot of interesting nominees, especially for the Game of the Year, which uh, uh, the nominees are Assassin's Creed Three, Dishonored, Mass Effect Three, Walking Dead, and Journey. Do you like this award show? I usually don't watch it because they always seem to overlook just like one like huge like game that they just completely disregarded. But I don't know. The lineup seems pretty legit this year. There hasn't been a lot. Really? Of, like, you think so? I think this list of game of the year nominees is really lackluster. Well, yeah, but that's not for lack of their choosing. I think it's just I lack know. of games that have come out. So that's not their I'm fault. I'm kind of spread Borderlands too, not on that list. Mm, yeah, and I'm surprised uh, Journey is on that list. Really? I'm glad to see Journey on there, dude. Just that's split. crazy. A downloadable game competing with the fucking likes of Assassin's Creed 3. Mm-hmm. And especially Walking Dead, that's another one, but... That's yeah. crazy. Good shit. This is definitely the year of like the downloadable title, just because there weren't that many titles that were worth 60 bucks worth going and picking up, so... Is there any category here that you're interested in hearing the nominees for? No, because I've already looked them all up. <laughs> <laughs> Bastard. Okay. <laughs> uh, you can always put a link in the description. You know? Yeah, I'll link it in the description. Go check it out. Uh, there, you know, there's some awards that just... I don't know. You know. I wouldn't put that in there. Like, best PS3 game. I don't know if it was just a shitty year for PS3, but, like, these games, it's like, for PS3, it's Assassin's Creed 3, Borderlands 2, Dishonored, and Journey. One of those is an exclusive. Twisted Metal came out earlier in the year. You can put that on here, a little bit kind of starting. Uh, I don't think those are, like, game of the year material, though. I know, but uh, the, when I see best PS3 game, it's like... Yeah, you kind of want to see like exclusive. what's exclusive, but and yeah. like with Xbox 360, it's pretty much the same list, but throw in Halo. Yeah. So who gives a shit about Halo? <laughs> oh man, it's just been a slow year for games, and you know, just gotta just gotta live with that. <laughs> well, now I want to check out best downloadable game real quick. Fez, Journey, Sound Shapes, Walking Dead. Who do you think should take that? Oh, man, I think Sound Shapes, dude. That game is so unique, so original, so just, like, fucking awesome. I think it should take it. I think Walking Dead might win it. Uh, yeah, I think it's just because it's a so more high-profile game. Yeah. But I think Sound Shapes deserves it. That game was, that was bananas. It was a totally unique experience, something that I just... I didn't expect it in games, like in a game. And that was just, just it's great, man. I highly recommend that game to everybody. Um, and another interesting award, most anticipated game next year, Bioshock Infinite, Grand Theft Auto V, South Park Stick of Truth, Last of Us, and Tomb Raider. What are you going to vote for? Last of Us. GTA. Fuck your mouth. You can't vote for anything but Last of Us. That game is going to be one of the best, like, ever. I just, oh my god. It, it better be one of the best ever. <laughs> if that game disappoints. I could see some, like, suicides over that shit. It's like, oh my god. All these are pretty good, except for, like, Tomb Raider. I'm just not interested in Tomb Raider whatsoever. Yeah, I think that series needs to just die already. Die. <laughs> too many of them. And Why? Because we have Uncharted? Yeah, it's just 
way past its like prime, dude. Just oh, give up on it. It's, I don't. But don't you I've think it's had... good having a strong female lead? Yeah, but just Laura Croft. Fuck that, dude. Just find find another one. <laughs> Trust me, he can figure it out a way. Besides freaking Laura Croft, Tomb Raider, freaking whatever. It's just not. She's past her time. She had her time to shine. They blew it. They're trying to revive her, which movies are good. <laughs> Angelino Jolie's good, right? It has nothing yeah. to do with Tomb Raider. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, dude. This new one looks like it could be a game changer, but I'm not holding my breath. I don't even. I have pretty much zero interest in. Tomb what are they gonna do? All they do is update the graphics. Well, that, and I think they're gonna add like survival aspects to it and just other shit. I don't know. Whoa. I would, yeah, I'm gonna vote for know. Grand Theft Auto Five, my most yeah. favorite game of the year. Like it, Last of Us is a close second, a close first second. Uh, but like, I just see myself playing Grand Theft Auto more. Mm-hmm. Like, because it's built that way. But dude, you know, what? Which one are you gonna just cherish and experience more, and just like never forget? GTA. I don't know. Uh, I haven't played them yet. I don't think so, dude. I GTA, the next GTA comes out, and you will have forgotten about Grand Theft Auto Five already. But The Last of Us, that's going to be... I think it's they're gonna putting be. all the good things back into GTA, so... Yeah, they're making it fun again. So you've already played it before. That's great. It's, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So I just, I don't see it. I so go can't. check it out. Go vote. Yeah. And yeah, that's it. Uh, last but not least... A little bit of TV show news. Walking Dead Episode 6. Continuing to be some of the greatest TV on TV. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not bad. I wouldn't say the greatest TV on TV, but it's pretty damn good. Break it down. Break this episode down. So last okay. episode. Okay, go for it. I'll do that. <laughs> last episode concluded with Rick getting a telephone call. And I fucking called it. I watched it with Big Yeah, Dog. me too. Spoiler like, alerts! It's his subconscious. It's his fucking subconscious. Uh, he's fucking crazy. That's what it is. Yeah. After the second phone call, I was like, that's his subconscious. Because when Herschel came in, he's kind of like... <laughs> yeah, he was like, uh, Her- uh, Rick, this, this this phone don't work. This phone don't work, bro. <laughs> like, I just wanted him to tell him, and just he couldn't do it. And I'm like, oh my god, he's fucking I, I thought it was a possibility that like, he was being watched or something, but... Uh, I fucking... I looked at my brother, and I said, you know what, Shane? This guy's fucking crazy. First phone call. I was like, this guy has lost it. So. Um, what else happened? Oh, Michonne. She had a big part in this this uh, episode. Yep, so. he tried to murder her out in the yeah. woods. But Michonne Going back. left a clever-ass message. Yeah, I love that. What do you think the opening back. scene where she jumped from the tree and cut the guy's head off and shit? I thought it was uh, a little bit corny. I liked it, dude. She was just like a fucking ninja. Cut off a guy's head, stab another guy, block like three bullets, and, you know, drop the guy. She got shot in the leg, but you know, she was a fucking boss, dude. And then she cut that zombie open, and the guts just spilled out on her. I fucking almost lost it. I was like, oh no. Yeah, it's pretty gross. I didn't need that shit. Um, what else happened? Uh, what's her name? Andrea and the governor are get it out. Boning every chance they get. That was uh. Good. <laughs> Um, they found that chick. Oh yeah, dude. I was not dead. I was hoping she was all right, not, but I was wondering where she was at too. I'm like, she's fucking disappeared, and I don't know how long it had been since the attack. It had to have been like maybe one or two days, like yeah. the most. So. Um, what else? The uh, what's his name? The guy who got his hand cut off met up with. Uh, oh, Merle ran into Glenn Merle, and his girlfriend. Glenn Get in his girlfriend, yep. And Michonne saw the whole thing. Kidnapped him. It's total bullshit, dude. They had two guns drawn on him. And he fucking pulled his shot once and, like, split them off. It was total bullshit. I just, oh, I was shot the fuck. <laughs> I was just, like, thinking the whole time, like, it's not, it's, that would not have happened. It's, it's I feel bullshit. like we're missing something big. Uh, they, what's his name? Merle lied about killing Michonne. That's, That's not really bad. Big. Yeah, it is, dude. Michonne's gonna come back to haunt him, and just... I was hoping. <laughs> I joked with Big Dog. I'm like, what if she cuts off his other arm? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. The double bayonet armed, uh, <laughs> oh, fucking boss, dude. I would not want to hug from that guy. Yeah. 
<laughs> it fucking turns into Edward Scissorhands. Jesus. He is unstable as shit, dude. Just like the governor, dude. He wanted Michonne's head and her sword for, like, trophies. and. Yeah, Merle uh, found out his brother's still alive. Yeah, and he knows he's got people who knows where he's at. And he's going to torture the shit out of him. I can feel it. And I just, I don't know. I just have this, like, feeling next episode somebody's not making it out alive. Someone is leaving in a body bag. Maybe. So. But it, it just looks like it's going to be a freaking awesome-ass episode. And Rick finally accepted his daughter, kind of. Yeah. And he realized he went fucking crazy, too, at the end there. He's like, oh, yep, I'm fucking crazy. And then he kind of held the baby up like Simba. <laughs> Oh, a little bit. Oh, and at the very end, Michonne found the prison. That was the thing you're missing, dude. Oh, yeah. She was she with was... all the zombies because she was covered in zombie guts. Which Something makes from zombie season one? Chaser. Yeah. I, I, think... love, I love seeing that from season one. And she's just outside the prison gate. She looked crazed as shit, but I don't know. It's going gonna, it's gonna to create some interesting <laughs> shit. The two groups that separate are finally going to meet up again. It's going to be fucking great. This is, I can't wait for the next couple episodes. Awesome. I, I'm waiting for it gets so good, and then, hey, you got to wait five months for the next season. Yeah. Oh, man. I, just, I hate it. There's not a lot of like good television shows on right now, and there's not a lot of TV worth watching except for this, and it's just going to be hard, dude. Suck ass. There's no Falling Skies. There's no Breaking Bad. There's no Game of Thrones. It's just gonna be a sad lonely couple months after it hits to be like christmas time yeah well that's about it for what's craig and hope you guys enjoyed come back next week where we're gonna have tons of stuff to talk about more walking dead playstation all-star battle royale borderlands 2 dlc um walking dead the game coming to an end uh just a lot of stuff and also keep it locked on our channel uh, definitely a lot of stuff coming out, all the things I mentioned before, so keep it locked. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you uh, are automatically updated on all our current uploads. You know, we recently had a Saints Row Marathon this weekend, so if you missed that, go check it out. We uploaded about five parts of that. And um, so, yeah, that's about it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed what's cracking. And, yeah, catch us next week. Peace. Peace. Goodbye.